Since the release of Advanced Warfare, there's always been one question that sparks an aggressive debate. What counters the UAV score streak that has the threat detection module equipped? If you Google around on the internet, you'll find that most of the population is split 50-50 as to what they believe. You've got the cold-blooded believers on one side, and the low-profile followers on the other. Let's just take a look at a few of the arguments before we begin. Take note, these were taken from websites all across the web. So this guy says, low profile blocks your icon on the map. You need cold-blooded to not show up as a red outline. Low profile hides you from standard UAV sweep, but not threat detection. Cold-blooded protects you from threat detection. I thought you needed cold-blooded in order to avoid getting caught on anything threat detection. Cold-blooded is the perk that protects you from threat detection, not low profile. You still need cold-blooded to negate the threat UAV. Low profile does not counter threat detection unless they have patched it lately. Low profile does counter threat detection. I think it's pretty stupid that you have to run low profile and cold-blooded just to be resistant to a UAV. Low profile prevents UAVs from seeing you and threat detection is a module for the UAV. Therefore, low profile prevents threat detection UAVs from seeing you. And lastly, I assume cold-blooded counters the threat detection, but someone told me low profile does. They tested it in a bot match, apparently. So as you can see, the community seems to be split between which perk actually counters this ability. In this small sample size, the majority assume it's the cold-blooded perk and not low profile. Now I really want to settle this debate once and for all. I've done all the testing and I have a conclusion. So dim the lights, cue the music, and let's start this epic one versus one battle in a true test of... So before we get to the actual testing, let's quickly take a look at the UAV and the module itself in question. Undoubtedly, the most popular module for the UAV is the Threat Detection. The Threat Detection module functions very similar to the Oracle from Call of Duty Ghosts. An expensive and powerful upgrade, Threat Detection causes enemies to appear as though they were struck with a threat grenade. This gives you a huge intelligence edge in combat, as you can locate adversaries hiding in buildings or on rooftops from below. It's a whopping 300 additional points to equip. However, this huge point cost is countered by the ability to equip the support module. This pretty much guarantees at least one UAV with threat detection per match. A lot of players use the UAV with threat detection as their only streak, and it's not uncommon to see at least one up almost constantly. If you add the extra time module for 100 more points, this will last for an additional 15 seconds for a total duration of 45 seconds. The total cost for all three of these modules is 1,100 points. So I did a few experimental matches running nothing but the UAV, threat detection, support, and extra time. On average, I was earning 8 to 10 UAVs a game. These matches were all in domination, mind you, where the points are very plentiful. And that was just me playing solo. If just one or two of my teammates were also running the same setup, we would have literally had a constant UAV with threat detection up at all times. Which, of course, makes knowing what perk counters this powerful score streak even more essential. Now let's just look at the in-game description for both cold-blooded and low-profile. First, cold-blooded. This perk will make you immune to thermal, target enhancer, threat grenade, and enemy callouts. No name or reticle color change when targeted. Next, low profile. This makes you invisible to UAVs, tracking rounds, and exo ping. So now for the testing. I've seen a lot of people test this in a private match and that's where they stop their research. I'm gonna go beyond that. However, first, just to be sure, I did start with a private match as well. So I've got two friends with me here in a private match on free-for-all mode. One of them has just the low profile perk on, and one of them has just the cold blooded perk on. So I earned a UAV with threat detection and had them stand directly in front of me. Only one of them lit up, and then I killed them both to see what the kill cam showed. As you can see here, I put who is running what perk above their head. I also had them send me a screenshot of their loadouts, just for verification. The guy on the left had low profile on and did not show up on the threat detection. The guy on the right had the cold-blooded perk on and did show up. So here's the kill cam of the guy running only cold-blooded and thus the guy that did show up. I wanted to see whether he could see himself glow in the kill cam. As you can see here, he could not see himself get lit up by the threat detection even though he really did. We'll discuss this more later though. 
So the conclusion from the private match was that low profile blocks the threat detection module and not cold blooded. However, as I said earlier, this is the only test most people run. I wanted to take it a step further and test it in an actual public match. Personally, I always run low profile. No matter the game type or the caliber of my opponents, I will always have a low profile on. However, there are times when the enemy calls a UAV in and I'll get cold cocked by someone who shouldn't have known I was there. So that made me wonder. Low profile may be broken in public matches and doesn't really block you from threat detection like it does in private matches. To test this, I had the same two friends as earlier help me out. We went into a public match of Uplink and got on different teams. Again, I earned a threat detection UAV and we coordinated to meet in a certain location. Just as before, one of them only had cold blooded on and one of them only had low profile. And again, only one of them lit up. As you can see here, the guy on the left had low profile and the guy on the right had cold blooded. Once again, it was low profile that blocked the threat detection module of the UAV and not cold blooded. So this mystifies me. As I mentioned, I have low profile on every single loadout and I can't fathom why so many people don't use it. The next time you call on a UAV with threat detection, just watch closely at how many people show up on it. You can't possibly tell me that so many people don't run low profile. As an example, look at this clip. This is kill confirmed in a 6 versus 6 match. If we pause it here, you'll see that 4 people are currently lit up. That means that 4 out of 6 of my enemies are not running low profile. But that begs the question, what are people running in place of low profile? There's lightweight, overcharged, danger close, and flak jacket. Now I could see flak jacket and danger close being used in objective modes, but still, I would assume that these wouldn't take a backseat to low profile. Overcharged is only useful if you're running an exo ability, and I've seen that a lot of people actually don't run these at all. So if I had a bet, I'd wager that lightweight is the culprit. Since Black Ops 2, it seems that everyone has enjoyed the additional speed that lightweight brings. But I find it's not necessary in this already fast-paced game. Thus, in my opinion, while some of those are very helpful perks, they don't put you at as big of a disadvantage by not using them as low profile does. The UAV is such an easy score streak to acquire. Not using low profile, unless of course you're an extremely high caliber player, will have you screwed over 99% of the time. Lastly, I wanted to discuss the kill cams. I realize kill cams can't be 100% trusted, but I can't figure out what's going on with regard to threat detection. So in some kill cams, you'll see enemies glowing red from the threat detection, but in others, you simply won't. The same thing happens in the final kill cams. This is one of the reasons you shouldn't rely on these kill cams. So while your enemy could have seen you glowing red from the threat detection, your own kill cam may not show that, and you're led to believe that the guy who just killed you somehow knew where you were without a UAV up. You can clearly see in some of these clips that prior to the final kill, they're glowing red. And then magically in the kill cam, they're no longer glowing. But again, sometimes the threat detection module is actually seen in the kill cam. I have no explanation for this. Sometimes you'll see it, and sometimes you won't. I did test a few more things, but I'll just sum them up for you so you don't have to watch all my boring testing clips. So first of all, as just discussed, it's low profile that blocks the threat detection module on the UAV. Second. Cold Blooded does absolutely nothing to counter the UAV effects. Third, firing an unsilenced weapon doesn't do anything in regard to your threat detection status. Some people speculated that even if you run low profile, if you shoot your unsilenced weapon during a threat detection sweep, you'll still show up. This of course is false. If you have low profile on, regardless if your weapon is silenced or unsilenced, you will not show up. If you want to get by running only one stealth perk in Advanced Warfare, low profile is definitely the way to go. I had assumed, just like many others in the game, that the threat detection module was defeated by the cold blooded perk since the effect is the same as a threat grenade. Again, however, this is 100% false. Cold blooded is now that much more useless of a perk and low profile is that much more powerful. So if you were previously running cold blooded, I would advise you to swap to low profile. To be honest, I don't think the average player has any idea how much tactical advantage the wall hacking abilities the threat detection module actually give you. Low profile is the only perk you need to stay off the UAV with threat detection. If you're wondering why the other team still seems to know where you are despite using low profile, it's usually because you have a teammate close to you that isn't using low profile. Do yourself and your team a favor and always use this perk. Otherwise, you might just find yourself getting slaughtered along with the rest of your neon red glowing teammates running straight into a pre-firing execution squad.